Look at this. It's the most magnificent sunset, man. Someone's singing in their garden over there. I'm looking at the most magnificent sunset right now. Um, yeah, wow, so lush. It's really brightening my day, and it's those little things what bring the magic. Nature, there's two leaves just floating through the sky together, and you can literally see the glow of the orange on my face from what I'm looking at here, you know? this beautiful sight. So lush. I feel so lucky to be alive, to be here. Yeah, this week marks for me six months sober, six months off of alcohol, off of drugs, off of, um, yeah, off of um, tobacco. And just healing, you know, healing is a beautiful thing, this healing journey. And I can't take my eyes off this sunset, it's so magnificent. I'll put the camera there so it's at least like I'm looking at you guys. Um, but yeah, we have to take in all the blessings in life, all the blessings, um, all the lessons, you know. And after we have the biggest lessons, then we have the biggest blessings, you know. And we learn from that, we integrate that darkness with that light, you know, and it's in our darkest, hardest times that really bring us back to life. It can be an opportunity to do that, you know, and um, realise our fullest potential, you know, sometimes it's, we're not reaching our fullest potential in those dark times and we have an awakening, we have... We get an opportunity to be that light, to be that brightness, to be that beautiful rainbow energy, you know, that beautiful divine God life force energy flowing through us. Um, sometimes we can get stuck in the darkness when we deny that light, when we deny that power within, when we deny that true essence, you know, we are the sunset. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, we are the sunset, we are the light, we're the sun, we're the moon, we're everything, you know? And it's just a blessing to be alive, to be here, so we got to make the most of it and never let anything get us down, not for too long. We'll alchemise that, alchemise it into gold, you know? And oh, just like the sky is ever changing, ever moving, you know? It's, always beautiful there's always that blue what holds it you know that holds the sky over you know it's ever changing there's that constant and we're that constant that observer that vessel or we're what fills the vessel you know but what holds it we're everything inside out and in between um yeah just thinking on that actually how the sky changes so much you know but it's always beautiful and it's always magnificent and inspiring whether it's thick black opaque at night you know with the stars shining so bright that canvas for the stars to stand out you know with our depth of our darkness it gives space and room for our brightness to shine also you know and hold space but also you know, the the day always comes, the sun always comes and brightens the sky as well, you know. And then as it's that changing integration period, there's all these many colours and aspects hitting the clouds. Or sometimes it's stormy, it's raining, it's snowing. You know, there's all these different emotions and feelings that come through in life and 
but we are ever constant we are the sky that's ever constant um, and there it fluctuates and changes actually everything's always the same same energy um, but yeah different <laughs> too we're a paradox we're a paradox oh I'm so blessed to catch this sunset and to share it with you you know um, big blessings big blessings it's been one of the hardest years maybe the hardest year this year um, but I've had the most growth that I've ever had maybe <laughs> I'm always working on growing and developing um, but this year has been something else you know my mum had a heart attack at the beginning of the year um, I moved house um, I moved in with um, someone um, but then we split up um, so I've gone through a breakup heartache you know went through an awakening um, haunted by ghosts um, haunted by my own inner demons you know um, a mixture of different entities you know had an awakening woke up to that got onto drugs a lot before that got off the drugs after that you know been healing I've been Reiki attuned um, you know I've figured out a lot of things I've helped a lot of movement in my family as well and a lot of breakthroughs um, within myself um, but that then echoes out you know I've I've been to a sober fest and met some amazing people there love jam um, and you know found a spiritual community that's um, into these different uh, things you know um, and learning more about quantum physics you know been tapped back into what I was interested in you know before lockdown before crazy covid times and all the lessons what came with those times because you know since 2019 that whole time's been a whole learning process and journeying through so much crazy things and thank you for sticking with me people i know i've not been as consistent with my sharing in these times I've been going through a lot of stuff um but this year I've been coming back home to myself, you know, and I'm so looking forward to 2024. Um, I'm fasting at the moment and uh, having herbs, uh, Dr. Sabi herbs, and, uh, mostly just liquids through the day and then a period of, you know, uh, just having fruits and salad, uh, keeping it light to flush the body out and detox. Um, I would be having just liquids, but it's kind of really cold this time of year. And, you know, women with different bodies to men and Dr. Sebi doing his long fasts and things. Um, yeah, he's got that testosterone go, but, you know, we have our ovaries and different way of going. And also, you know, I'm a water baby, so I'm just feeling through it intuitively and studying, learning about different techniques and different things people sharing about fasting and yeah I've just been really called to do this and though I seem crazy <laughs> to people but this is my journey and my path and I accept now that I'm a spiritual being we're all spiritual beings but um you know I, f I feel that um it's a big part of me and always has a big part of, been a big part of me and I'm just embracing it more now and not having any shame behind it or stigma or dogma um, just accepting that that's who I am and that's perfectly fine you know um, and yeah feeling blessed for all these realizations and coming home to myself my most authentic self trying to be more radically honest with people and trying to let go of distractions and really tune in within and because when we heal ourselves and we loving ourselves and balance within it balances everything around us you know we have our universe within and that's how we find our reality you know um and then these triggers and things will come at us uh, show some deep hidden shadow things that need to be pulled up to to be worked on to become more of our authentic self you know 
Um, so yeah, I'm trying not to isolate too much to still have these triggers and things to work on, but also I'm realizing how much I like my own alone time and that's okay too, to just go within, do my own thing, find my own path and journey. And you know, um, it's a good thing to be able to be alone with yourself. If you find it difficult to be alone with yourself, then there's a lot of shadow work to do, you know, when, when we find it hard to be alone, then, you know, it's too many thinky thinky and inner demons maybe coming up. Um, but you know, we're not our thoughts, we're not our mind, we're more than that. We can control our mind, we can harness our mind to create the life that we want, you know. Neuro-linguistic programming and different things like that. Uh, we program our minds to create the results we want, let go of them in beliefs to find find the life that we want, you know, because a lot of us are complaining, we're complaining and we stay in our suffering because we manifest more of that by staying stuck in that vibration. But we have to literally feel what it is that we want to have um, to become that feel like it's already happened like it already is you know so no worries because it already is everything's working in my favor and sometimes it seems really unrealistic and mad but we've got to just be in that unrealistic phase to 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 create a reality that's uh, beyond our dreams beyond our wildest dreams you know and life is magic we're magic you're magic i'm magic you know we have that magic so let's harness it let's be it um, you got to believe it to see it, you know, rather than see it to believe it, because then our ego can always create doubt in things, but when we actually believe in something, then that's when we see it, you know, that's why I realised what was happening to me during my haunting, or the haunting, what happened to me, you know, um, nobody else said believed in ghosts so they didn't believe that that's what had happened but I believe that was what was happening on a spiritual element but I was highly intoxicated at that time but it wasn't happening to me when anybody else was there um, and I wasn't getting intoxicated when no one else was there um, so these things were happening in the witching hour when everyone's asleep you know and and I couldn't get a hold of anyone you know um, so I was like on my own through this, these crazy things, what was <laughs> happening, I was experiencing. And I thought it was crazy, but that is what, what was happening, you know, and I took copious amounts of, of the K before that and none of this had ever happened until being in a really old house in Plymouth, you know, there's lots of hauntings in Plymouth. And, um, yeah, getting through that made me realise I can get through anything, you know, and we have such power within, you know, and it was like, I had to choose between light and dark, my own inner light or this dark path of drugs and addiction and affliction, you know, and partying, and if I chose that path, that just leads to death, you know, that leads to sadness, it leads to disease, it leads to depression, and... You know, I've lost a friend from that. I've lost friends from that lifestyle. And that's the only way that that goes, you know. Um, but we can choose the light and be love and, you know, medicine, plant medicine, that is fine, you know. And it, we're using it as a tool for healing. But that just activates something within us so we know we can heal ourselves, you know. We don't have to depend on anything external to ourselves because within we have everything. You know, we have that God life force energy. We have breath flowing through us, you know. We have our wisdom, our intuition, which is so strong, you know. My intuition just led the way. My higher self just led the way throughout that, you know. Even the person that I was with when he did help me, I was guiding him with my intuition, you know. And it's so powerful. And, I want, you know, in 2024, that's something that I aspire to is helping people more through these, um, yeah, through these um, awakenings and uh, spiritual awakenings, you know, and through these metaphysical um, happenings, you know, and things are always happening for us, not to us, you know. 
there's so many ways we can describe these things mental physical emotional we have many different bodies and there's many different things you know a lot of people would have called that psychosis but I know it wasn't psychosis you know um but then maybe psychosis is just a physical way of explaining something spiritual what's happening and that's there's two ways that it is and both's right you know but I got myself through that you know, some people have been sectioned for that. Some people have been, uh, had a mental breakdown after that. Or, you know, I probably did have a mental breakdown after that, but, you know, I brought myself back up. You know, some people's gone into rehab after those kinds of things or to get support. But my intuition, I followed my intuition to tell me and my ancestors, thank you. You know, I've got a lot of ancestors being so mixed race, um, mixed ethnicity you know so I've got so many different aspects creating who I am and they're there for me angels spirit guides ancestors and I know I have a big purpose on this earth and that's not coming from my ego that is from my heart and soul to elevate you know elevate humanity and by sharing the love and vibration and sharing my journey you know and being open and authentic and vulnerable you know and I feel powerful taking my power back, you know, for being open about this stuff. And even though people didn't believe me, but some people do, and they're the right right people, you know, that are seeing things more, you know, the right people for me, you know. There's no wrong or right, but, you know, there's people resonate with me more. And they just taught me that that life is over for me back where I grew up, you know. And... I was trying to tune back into those vibrations from my past, but that had to be done to clear that, to move and let go and realise all these shadow aspects within myself of addiction, of drug abuse, of um, love addiction, of codependent relationships, of, you know, going along with things because I'm curious, you know, curiosity killed the cat. Um, and, you know, it's good to stand on our own, be in our sovereign and operate how we want to operate operate from our heart from our soul and authentic and true you know even if it's going against the grain even if it's not what everyone else is doing that's okay you know be the vibe be the vibe you know and lead your own path lead lead yourself you're you're powerful you know you're powerful we're all powerful i love you so much i'm gonna end this here but yeah the sunset's kind of dying down now but it's still beautiful, that's still lush. And I just wanna say thank you to the trees, the trees and the spirit animals that helped me so much. Um, you know, when we tune into our inner child and heal those inner child wounds, um, it's magnificent, you know, it's so powerful. And know that we are worthy, you are worthy, you are loved, you are whole, you are complete. But yeah, the journey keep continues and yeah, have fun with it, be in joy, love you, peace, love and harmony, take care. Hey peeps, I know I said um, that it's been the hardest year, um, but actually I don't think it has been the hard. well, it's a tie <laughs> since the end of 2019, well actually through middle, probably like since 2019, um, but yeah, 2020 was probably the hardest, but that's for like everyone, you know, um, crazy COVID times, um, you know, and no matter what we're going through, there's always someone else going through worse or someone else going through better. And sometimes we're the ones doing better or we're the ones doing worse. Um, but everything comes around and we transcend that duality as well, because you know, in those harshest, darkest times, or even when the worst stuff was happening, some of the best stuff was happening, you know, finding my way, finding who I am, finding, or like we find who we are, we find new experiences, you know, all the pressure creates the diamonds, um, so we shine brighter, we're harder, and yeah, more beautiful, um, after the pressure's been put on and probably it's one of the best things what happened to me 
um, having my spiritual awakening. Um, even though that event was like the most petrified I've ever felt in my life. Um, but yeah, it broke a massive cycle of um, codependency and um, yeah, of my own shadow to work through of going for codependent relationships, becoming codependent when I'm independent, you know, and then it's been balancing to not be so hyper dependent, but also to um, level up and want better for myself, you know, and take that time to work on myself more as well. And look at where it is in me that I've attracted these situations into my life, you know, um, because that's where the power is when we take accountability and ownership, you know. And even though I was influenced um, by those around me to get back into doing drugs, I don't blame them because it was like my choice to do those things. And, you know, but I, I knew it was out of alignment with myself. So that's why I had the spiritual awakening would have been. You know, God showed me the way God showed me my light and showing me, you know, giving me that fear <laughs> um, of what happens when we choose the darkness, you know. And, and yeah, it's... You know, so it will awaken me <laughs> um, to be more myself, my authentic self, and be on the healing path for real. And, you know, it's had a knock on effect to other things and clearing out other past things. And, yeah, it's a beautiful journey, this thing we call life. And, even more beautiful one, we transcend duality and see the dark times and the light times or the hard times and the good times as part of it all, the, all, the many flavours of life, you know? Um, and we wouldn't be who we are without all of those aspects, you know? Um, yeah, and things are difficult in different ways as well, so it's hard to say that's the most difficult year because it could have been difficult because of X, Y, Z one year, but then W, P, Q on another year. <laughs> but they're both as hard as each other, but in, in different ways, you know. Um, but then also good and helping in other ways. Because um, though... It's been hard this year. I've had such transformation, like I said. Um, this second half of the year after my awakening is, even though it's been a lot of post-traumatic stress to, to work through and trauma to work through, um, it's been really fun um, getting to know the new me and getting to know the old me and integrating everything and doing a lot of self-inquiry and a lot of healing it's been a very healing year you know I've been getting therapy been going for massage um getting somatic healing shamanic healing been in a sweat lodge um yeah all different things um uh, receiving reiki um and yeah, just really easing the nervous system, realising sometimes when we've been through trauma most of our lives, you know, we're all experiencing things and going through stuff in our lives. Um, when we don't have any breaks from that, you know, lots of trials and tribulations or upheavals or a lack of consistency in our lives, it all takes a toll after a while, you know. We need to take the time to slow down, relax, be ourselves. Um, you know, feel into it, um, and 
yeah, just rest, be in the stillness, you know, and I'm actually realising that it's really nice. And I feel like I used to be more on the go, out doing things. Um, but now I'm okay more just slowing down the pace. Um, yeah, I feel really... Like, I still got to get my sleep in order. Um, like, right now, it's pretty late. I got on off on a YouTube tangent. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on because I'm adding this to the end of that other video. But, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks to God for, yeah, keeping me here and infusing my life. Um yeah, giving me this big loving heart because, you know, we can choose to be sour about things or we can choose to alchemize and just show love all the way, you know, and I've learned to forgive myself for those times and bad choices or unhealthy choices I made, you know, and it just takes step by step each day brick by brick, you know, doing a little bit more here and here and following our intuition of what feels right in tune with our hearts. Um, and even if we go off path, then that's actually helping us even more to get on track even stronger um, as long as we're learning from it and detaching. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to go to sleep. <laughs> Peace, guys. Big love. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. One love.